a widow had lost her only son. The book of Luke tells the story. I want you to picture two groups of people, both large groups of people. One group is leaving the city, the other coming into the city. But they're starkly different. You see, the group coming into the city was a group of people who were following Jesus. They had been with him while he was teaching, while he was doing miracles, and there was, there was excitement in this group. They couldn't wait to hear more. They couldn't wait to see more. And so there was great energy and enthusiasm in this group. The other group was completely different. That group was a group of mourners. And as the crowd following Jesus sees this group of mourners, they step off to the side of the road, much like how we would do if we see a funeral procession and we pull over to the side of the road out of respect. They would have done the same thing. But something about this group of mourners catches the eye of Jesus. It's not the mourners themselves. It's not even the dead person. It's the mom. You see, he sees this woman and his heart breaks for her. According to Luke, she is a widow who has lost her only son. A widow. So she's walked this road before. That road from town out to the cemetery, she's walked this road before. Only then she had her son with her, there to help provide for her, there to help protect her, to take care of her, to support her, all of these things. You see, the society that Jesus lived in was a very misogynistic society, and so they didn't look fondly upon women. They, they were looked down upon, in fact. And so for a woman, she relied on her husband to provide for her and protect her. And when he passed on, she relied on her husband or, or her son. And so here we have a woman who has lost her husband. Now she relies on her son, but now he's gone. And so not only is she hurting, but what does her future look like? And she's probably in shock because in those days, they, they, they didn't leave a, a body in the house because a, a body in the house overnight, a dead body in the house left overnight would render the house unclean. And so typically they would bury the, the deceased person the same day they died. And so it may have only been hours ago that he passed away. So she's probably in shock. She's hurting. She's afraid. And Jesus sees her, and maybe it's his love for all of us, or maybe it's his heart for his own mom. But he does something. And if you look through Scripture, you find out that every time Jesus was faced with a need, he always responded with compassion. And so that's exactly what he does here. It says that he stepped out of the crowd from, from his crowd and approached the mom and said to her, don't cry. I mean, who does that? I, I've done a lot of funerals, and I'm guessing if, 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 if I was with this crowd of mourners and somebody stepped out, a stranger, and tells the grieving family, don't cry, somebody may get punched. I don't know. I mean, but this just seems kind of crazy unless the one speaking knows something the others don't know. And in this case, that's exactly what's going on. Jesus knew what he was about to do. And so he told the, mo the mother, don't cry. And he stepped over and he touched the casket, which is something he wouldn't have done because you didn't touch a dead body because it would, it would make you unclean. You wouldn't even touch the casket because that would make you unclean. And so Jesus, ignoring all of those rules, reaches out and touches the casket and he tells the young man, get up. And the young man went from a, a place of, of lying down to sitting up, a place of, uh, of ashed out, paled skin to now his cheeks are flushed and his color is coming back. A place where he was just a moment ago dead and now he's alive. And to me, that story illustrates what God wants to do in our lives. Because when this happened, all of the crowd started cheering and people started going crazy, excited over what they had seen. And people said, look at this, God has come to help his people. And so I don't know what you're going through, what you're dealing with today, but I want you to know that God has come to help his people. So be encouraged. Don't give up. Don't be discouraged. Just 
Just keep fighting forward because God is on your side. And if he is for you, no one can be against you.